Walking into the department store, you can see that the bright interior is lit up by LED lights. Solar panels have also been installed on the rooftops, providing energy for all bathrooms throughout the building. All of this is designed as an attempt to reduce carbon emissions and be more eco-friendly. In Taiwan, corporations are taking the lead and aiming to reduce carbon emission in order to reach the country's 2050 zero carbon emissions plan. Not only are they looking into all ways to reduce their carbon footprint, companies are creating green, a trend of the future. 二零五零的净零计划，很多企业都有减碳的目标，像是红海摇着逐步转型，从代工一个变成电动车供应链的龙头，在我旁边呢，就是他们的电动巴士Model the biggest difference between the Model T and traditional buses is its carbon emission. Take greenhouse gas as an indicator. Traditional medium and large buses emit about 1.3 kilograms of carbon dioxide per kilometer when they are moving, while electric vehicles emit zero. On the road to global carbon reduction, electric buses are a trend that we are bound to see more and more of worldwide, but also on the streets of Taiwan. But just these independent changes by businesses alone are not enough. The Environmental Protection Agency of Taiwan has announced the possible amendment of the Greenhouse Gas Reduction and Management Law, where in the future they will be charging fees for carbon usage. Large carbon-emitting industries such as steel, petrochemicals, and semiconductors will be the main targets of the first wave of carbon fees in the future. Ju 那这个用途受到限制，所以碳费不能增加。那要为，所以为了要达到它最原始的目的，就是要有减量的诱因的话，所以必须要加课一个碳税。the Taiwanese government also announced that starting this year, they will subsidize citizens up to a total of 3,300 NT dollars if they trade in their old motorcycles for more eco-friendly options, like electric motorcycles. Taiwan is continuing to roll out plans in order to speed up its process of achieving zero carbon emissions by 2050. TVBS English News.